Let's watch the new Walter Masterson video. So this one, he says, I love how many chuds crawled out of their holes to tell me I deserved violence and how they really don't hate women. So I'm not sure if this video is the same as this one. I told him that I would wait to react to this video uh, until stream. So if there's a little bit of overlap, I'm assuming there is since he's wearing the same clothing. But this is the highlight. We'll watch this first and then we'll pivot to the longer video here. <laughs> Whatever happened to church and state? They used to be friends. This is a great way for us to control women. Sir, how are you doing? Listen, you're not with our group. I don't yes, want you to I am with you. No, you're not. I am with you. I hate women. To be here. I think everyone here agrees with me. I 100% agree. I'm here because I cannot trust women to make their own decisions in life. If I could trust women to make their own decisions, then uh, I'd be with you people. <laughs> women making their own decisions. Can you imagine that? Why are you touching him? Why are you touching him? Are you touching him? Are you touching him? Are you touching him? Not belong to our group. Yes, but I want to be hearing that in my I, I believe ear. that America is a crystal fascist state, and I hate women. Can I stay now? We hate women. <laughs> <laughs> and, and to be clear, I didn't give you all much uh, context, but this is a forced birther rally that he is attending. So uh, let's watch the longer video here because I'm curious to see how well it's going to go when he asks them to uh, help him combat child hunger because, you know, they care about these lives, right? So we'll see. So we are here today to protect children. We all know that abortion's a wedge issue, right? It's designed to distract us from passing policy that is good for children. Tell me more. Well, you know, one in seven children is food insecure. They don't know where their next meal is coming from. So we have a petition uh, for expanding universal pre-K, nationwide free school lunch, and expanding access to childcare for working parents. The things that parents are most concerned about. The reason they have abortions. Who could object to that? Who could object to that? I'm just curious, because I haven't seen this yet. Do you think that he's going to get a single Republican to support that agenda? Even one? I genuinely don't know. Maybe one, but I would be shocked. But uh, overall, I think that the reception to that is going to be overwhelmingly negative. But, you know, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. I don't, don't agree with your three resolutions or your three objectives whatsoever. Are you worried about the ideology that will be taught yes. at Ooh, those? Yeah. Yes, or where the money is going to come from. My personal view is that this should come from the military budget. I mean, and other things, and wasteful mm. spending in Washington, D.C. Well, the military is one of the few things that the government should be spending money on. Yeah. Maybe oh, of course. The powers of the federal government is one of the few things that the federal government should be spending money on is the national defense. Can we get your support? I'm sorry, thank you. Oh, okay. There's this myth going around the media that we don't care about children once they're born. Right. No. We're going to dispel that myth. Yeah, uh, well, uh, you know, there, there, are, there are things going on. People looking after people who have, uh, have difficulties in their lives, but you just, don't, you just don't hear about it. Yeah. We have a petition today for universal pre-K, nationwide free lunch for children, and expanded access to child care for working parents. We're tackling the ch you know, child poverty in America. That's 11 million children that go to bed hungry. Yeah. So, uh, do, would, do, okay. do you like to would you like to sign the petition? Well, first of all, I have to meet somebody in a couple of minutes. Oh, you uh, gotta go somewhere. I have to meet somebody. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Yeah, Don't worry about it. For universal pre-K. Wow. So, <laughs> this is why Walter is a genius. He got him to agree to the premise, and then once she once he came up with the specific policies. Oh, sorry. I've got to meet somebody. Oh, the sun is in my eyes. I'm so sorry. I can't see what I'm doing right now. I've got. To <laughs> These people are ridiculous. And think about this. These are policies that shouldn't be controversial to a normal society. We're talking about free lunches and the absence of free lunches. What, you support kids starving if their parents can't afford to purchase lunch for them? Do you support this weird draconian system where there's debt? Children can get in debt from not being able to pay for school lunches. I just feel like these are common sense things. And to not support it, you're extremely cruel. And these fundamentalists are showing their true colors. They're saying, mm, actually, we don't care about life. We don't care about these kids that we claim to care about. This is quite literally just about controlling women. Like, that's it. Like, the first guy that we watched got offended when Walter was making fun of them, saying, well, yeah, I, I hate women. I agree with you. But that is the crux of their position. It is quite literally 
about control. They want the state to exercise control over women that is not exercised over men. And they, they're just, they're so transparent. They can't even fake it to make it, right? That's how fraudulent these people are. Pre-K, nationwide free lunch for children, expanded access to child care for working parents. And together, we're going to make it easier for Americans to start a are you a Democrat? I want to make sure and I want to do research. Until I can research more, I'm not going to. Yeah, I don't believe in universal pre-K. These people are absolutely insane. I swear to God. And I love how that guy's like, oh, I have to do more research because mm, what does universal pre-K mean? Is it not abundantly clear just like with the title, universal pre-K free lunches? These people are so ridiculous. And I love her shirt. I'm an abolitionist. Like, I'm sorry, but how is this going to convince people to not get abortions? This looks like an alien, like Mars Attacks version of Jeff Bezos. If more women knew that this is what fetuses look like, then they would have more abortions. So I don't get the point that she's trying to make with this shirt. It's genuinely cursed. But um, let's see. Maybe, maybe she'll agree. So the parents are the main teachers. And if everybody goes to pre-K they get into the public school system with some of the, the liberal ideas that are there, you would have to increase the debt limit, you would have to increase taxes in order to pay for them. Well, Nationwide free lunch. Yeah. That's, everybody will take care of that. Everybody will take advantage of it. Well, I mean, if it means that kids don't go to bed hungry, isn't that a good thing? It's what does she even mean by that? That kids are gonna can steal an extra biscuit or an extra slice of pizza? I mean, this party is so cruel. This is the GOP's base. Fundamentally unprincipled, deeply unserious. It's just, it's unsurprising, I'll say that. Parents' responsibility to make sure the kids get fed. Right. And states um, like Ohio, uh, Indiana, like school debt is keeping kids out of school because they can't afford the, the lunch program. We are here to protect children. That's why we're gathering uh, petition signatures for universal pre-K, nationwide free lunch for children, expanded access to child care for working parents. Would you like to sign, sir? Sure, I would. Absolutely. You wow, right he person. found one. I hope I travel the world for Jesus, and my job, too, is to get as many people into heaven like yourselves. Can I ask you to say a quick prayer so you can know for sure you go to heaven, too? Say, Jesus, come into my heart. Jesus, come into my heart. And forgive me. Of this is special. And forgive me of all my sins. Amen. 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 And all Thank your you. sins are forgiven and the Holy Spirit lives in you forever. That's the why he died for us. And he stays with us as long as we stay with him. And that's what the Bible... Okay, shut the fuck up. Credit to this person, though, honestly, because he actually is trying to follow the more socialist oriented version of Jesus. I mean, like if you read the Bible, which most of these evangelicals have not, then the Jesus portions, I mean, Jesus said some fucked up things too, but overall Jesus was about like giving to the needy and whatnot. So at least he's like principled in that regard. I've got to respect him there. But um, since he just helped Walter Masterson with this spell and Walter Masterson's souls now saved, don't let it be for nothing, Walter. Now your sins are forgiven. Sin a lot. Otherwise, Jesus died for nothing. So, you know, have some fun. Um, snort. I can't. I can't. I'm going to violate the TOS. But <laughs> I think you all, you're picking up what I'm putting down. Do we have your support? Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. As long as you don't include abortion in there. I mean, it's, it's just it's what it said. Universal pre-K, okay. free lunch for children, and expanded access to child care for working yeah, parents. Wonderful. Thank you, sir. Hi, my name is Paul. What's your name? Walter. Walter, nice to meet you. Universal pre-K, nationwide free lunch for children, and expanded access to child care for working parents. That sounds amazing. We're trying to, you know, try create bipartisan support oh, to stop abortions. So like, yeah. yeah, like expanded access to contraception, you know, free school lunch, child care. Most women aren't looking to have an abortion, they're looking for support. Universal pre-K, nationwide free lunch for children, expanded access to childcare for working parents. Wow, wonderful, absolutely. We're getting a lot of people that are older are saying, well, I don't trust government. What I can tell you're here and you're, you're pro-life and you're marching with us, and so, I mean, I trust you guys based on that. I think there's this big skepticism, like with, uh, with the older generations, they're, they're super anti-government, all that stuff, um, and with, uh, with 
with younger people like us, it's more like, well, we, re we recognize the government is good and that, you know, we want legislation that's going to protect life and protect the unborn and protect marriage and, and protect the family and, and uh, there's nothing wrong with the government helping for that, you know? So the government's not inherently bad? No, of course not, of course not. Yeah. Do you identify as libertarian or... Absolutely not. No, no, I don't, I don't consider myself a libertarian. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, we meet a lot of different people at this march. It's very, it's very eye-opening. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome, absolutely. man. God bless you. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Sure. Universal pre-K, nationwide free lunch for children, expanded access to child care for working parents. Okay. And so, yeah, we're just getting signatures, man. Okay. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. I don't see much controversy. Uh, exactly. <laughs> don't see any controversy. Okay. That's incredible. Listen, here's, here's the strategy. Okay. We get these folks to agree to all these policies. Free universal lunches, universal pre-K, all of this, right? We reverse engineer their anti-abortion stance against them, bring them to our side temporarily to get these policies, form a temporary political alliance with them, and then we snatch the rug out from under them, legalize abortion again, and um, it's a win-win-win. That's what we've got to do, folks. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's how we proceed going forward. When the government is funding this program, they said, this is my money, I'm entitled to this money, and I I, I, mean, I get it whether I go to work or not. I mean, these uh -huh. are kids who are six to eight, I don't think they right. understand that. They and just know I'm, I'm hungry. I'm sorry, can we agree taxes never go down, they only go up. Well, I mean, if so you're a corporation, they go down. Stay this are there policies that you family. believe would help children family. better? Family, yes, family. Yeah. Um, reserving sex until married. 80-something percent of abortions are on unmarried women. Sure. I'm suggesting government programs that encourage marriage, that encourage men to commit to their children and to stay in their lives and pay child support. Yeah, yeah no, I, I, I think the child support. Oh, child I, I, I think support. the child support. It makes, well, where are the fathers? I want to know where the fathers are. This is definitely not uh, popular among Catholic groups, but among other uh, members of Christ. Like, expanding access to uh, sex guess. education. Let yeah. me guess. Contraception. Exactly. No. It, it, it cuts the number of unwanted know. pregnancy, which cuts the, the number of abortions are having sex outside of marriage the more unplanned pregnancy disaster. she's in this mindset that abstinence only education is preferable because if you don't have sex at all well then you know you're not going to have unplanned pregnancies but the problem is that that's unrealistic because people are going to have sex people want to live happy lives and sex is a part of human nature and so just because you are miserable and you're not getting sex just because this virgin over here is, isn't getting laid doesn't mean that that is uh, representative of the rest of the public. It's just extremely unrealistic. Like, this is all them just... It's about vibes, right? Like, they don't have any core political beliefs. They don't base uh, what they believe will be optimal outcomes on empirical reality. It's just all, well, I feel things should be this way. Or in my opinion, things should be this way. So it should be that way. When... It doesn't work that way. Uh, by the way, folks, if you haven't already, uh, I think this goes without saying, subscribe to Walter Masterson. If you haven't, what are you doing with your life? Some of the best content ever. He uh, makes videos constantly where he trolls the right. And, you know, the trolling isn't always necessarily malicious. Sometimes he'll just ask questions that gets them to inadvertently unveil how bizarre their worldview really is or how backwards their worldview really is. So I can't recommend it enough. Go and subscribe to Walter Masterson. Rez knows it. His content is gold. Yeah, can't, can't endorse him enough. Tell him that the Humanist Report sent you, folks. Mike is the worst progressive on YouTube. Please don't subscribe to him or become a patron. David Dole is so much better. Trust me, folks. He's doing a great job. He really is. Okay?